psychogenic epidemics have always raged through young women. Like, there's a documented history of that going back 350 years. There's a great book called Discovery of the Unconscious by a man named Henry Ellenberger, which was a canonical text for psychoanalytic training for about 30 years and truly is a brilliant book. And he documents psychogenic epidemics, literally going back, I'd say, 400 years. And it's always young women, and it's partly young women, I think, because they are more agreeable. But it's also partly young women because they hit puberty earlier and have to wrestle with its relatively dramatic psychological consequences at a slightly less developed, at a slightly earlier age. And that makes a real difference. And so the contagion of the trans phenomena among not its typical sufferers, who, as you pointed out, historically were male, but young women, is clear evidence to anyone who isn't purposefully stuffing up their ears and blinding their eyes that this is a social epidemic.